So this is going to be zebra can apple pie. <laughs> so what I'm going to attempt, and I say attempt to do, is I've got a couple of bits of tin foil basically, and moulded them over the tin so I can make a, a pie t tray that will fit in my zebra can. If I put it like that in the fire, and it should set like that, and by theory, it should work fine. So yeah, let's do this shit and see if it works. Absolutely awesome. Right, so <laughs> there we have our pie case. It'll look a lot better once it's closer. So in here, I'm going to put some apples, of course. for the top. Right. I'm just putting a bit of milk around this to seal it off.
Right, let's get this bad boy in the oven and see what the crack is. Right, so, I'll clear the bed. Put my zipper can. Turn it into the oven. I have my pie here. I'm just gonna put that bad boy in there. Pop that lid on there and get someone to hot it on because it's not gonna stay. There we go. It's in there. I'm gonna give it exactly five minutes and then I'm gonna go check on it. I've only put it on hot ashes, no more. No heat because I know it's because it's so small it's gonna heat up really fast. But we'll see, we'll see. You know what this means, don't you? This means that everybody that has a zebra can, if this works, they can take out mini pizzas and cook them in a zebra can. I might actually make a little wire grill to grow across the centre of my zebra can. And then I could maybe oven sausages or I make mini sausage rolls in that. Sure, I could. Or a little baby quiche. <laughs> Possibilities are endless. Everybody's got zebra cans. Everybody. Maybe just not as uh, dirty and as black as mine is. It's had an excessive amount of use. Right, so it's been like a good nine and a half, ten minutes. Hell, not far off, not far off at all. <laughs> nice. Nice. Not long now. Right. This is it. Still a bit longer. There we have our A golden brown apple pie. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that. Mm. Oh wow, that is really, really hot. Oh wow. Mm. There we go. Zebra can apple pie.